Today I want to talk about The Mandalorian Season 4. But before we start, I just want to say that this video will include spoilers for Season 3 of The Mandalorian. So this is your spoiler warning. At Star Wars Celebration Europe, John Favreau talked briefly about Season 4 of The Mandalorian. Despite the clear ending in the Season 3 finale, there are actually a few clues on what's going to happen in Season 4. And we are going to talk about that in this video. John Favreau said that he has already written Season 4 and that the spin-off shows Ahsoka and Skeleton Crew informed his writing for this next season. This means that these shows will be important to the plot of Season 4. Obviously, the return of Thrawn will have a big impact on the galaxy. But this is no surprise to me, since the book of Boba Fett was also important to the story of the Mandalorian. Multiple websites confirmed that season 4 will be filming later this year, around September or October. This could lead to a release in late 2024 or early 2025. Casting-wise, we have absolutely no idea on who is going to show up besides Pedro Pascal. Not even Katie Sackhoff Bo-Katan Kreese is confirmed. Since the next season has a more focus on the New Republic, members of the New Republic might show up as well, like Carson Teva, Elijah Kane, Dr. Pershing or Mon Mothma. But let's talk about the story or plot points that will be explored in Season 4. I think the formula of Season 4 will be the same as Seasons 1 and 2. Every episode a different mission with different characters at different locations. Didn't talk to Carson Teva about doing case by case missions, which implies that. And while I'm at it, Din works technically for the New Republic now, hunting Imperials. I think one of the reasons they brought in the Shadow Council was to set up some Imperial remnants that Din, Jaron, and Din Grogu can hunt down in Season 4. Eventually, this will lead him into the interest of Thrawn and his forces. I'm also very sure that we will have at least one or two episodes that focus on Mandalore. We can catch up on the rebuild of Sundari and other Mandalorian cities. We could see the Armra or bo Crease again. Every season featured Navarro, Grief Karga and Tatooine, so I can imagine a return to these places as well. Like I said, the Ahsoka show and Skeleton Crew will influence this season, so it's possible that characters from these shows will appear in season 4. Especially Sabine Wren. She's a Mandalorian and I really want to see her and Din Djarin in a scene together. The most important thing is the relationship between Grogu and Din. Despite what happens in the show, this relationship is the heart of the show and I want to see that bond. I want to see these two fight together. I want to see their relationship grow because, like I said, this is the heart of the show in my opinion. And this is basically everything we know about The Mandalorian Season 4. I really liked Season 3 and the show in its entirety, so I'm really looking forward to the next season. Now I want to know what you think about this. Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more cool Star Wars content, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, may the force be with you. Always.